Yo, 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 what's happening, people? It's your boy Khaled, and I just finished watching the Fulham Arsenal game. Well, well, well. Look, for me, that first half was one of the best halves I've watched all season. I thought we were controlled, composed, calculated, and we were flipping ruthless today. That first half was boys against men against boys, even. I thought we were incredible. From defence all the way to attack, we played some superb football. And, you know, it was it was a pleasure to see. I mean, look, the game was over at half-time, three goals up. And, um, you know, I don't want to hear anyone saying, oh, Fulham was shocking, Fulham were playing really bad. Look, this team, Fulham, have only lost three games at Craven Cottage all season. And they've only lost once at home since, since, uh, since the, the World Cup. So they've been on an incredible form, you know. They were, you know, touted as being one of the teams that's going to probably break into the European places. And they've been playing extremely well. But today we limited them. We absolutely dominated them. And we took our chances when we had them. Although we, we could have and should have had more goals. But I'll get into that a bit later. First of all, at the back. Look, when someone says to me, Corniche, I think of Rolls-Royce. When someone says Rolls-Royce, I think of Saliba. Wow. Look, this guy, man, 21 years old, six foot four, composed, cool, calm, collected. He's got absolutely everything to go all the way to the top. He's an absolutely incredible defender. And look, it's his first season in the Premier League after being out on loan for a few seasons. And he's been arguably one of the defenders of the season he's been absolutely amazing all season and today he epitomized that with that performance middle of the park the general the general major Partey controlled everything everything went through him man he was just absolutely just immaculate today it was a the complete midfield performance by him I'm so happy for him and also for Xhaka who I thought had a really good game and could have scored contender of goal of the season, by the way. That play just reminded me of, uh, you know, Wenger 2002, 2003. That, that Arsenal play was amazing. And we've got a player that suits that type of play. A player that we signed in January from Brighton in Leandro Trossard. Wow. Triple, triple uh, first half of assist. Uh, three assists in the first half. I thought he had an amazing game. And rightly so, one man of the match. I mean, it was such a shrewd signing. And it could turn out to be, honestly, one of the signings of the January window. I thought he was incredible today. He's so quick on his feet. You know, he's, in, he's, he's an Arsenal player, man. Technical, you know, likes the ball in tight spaces, wiggle his way out of tight spaces and create things. I thought he had a perfect game today. And I was so happy to see him getting three assists in the first half to set up the three goals. All in all, I thought it was a fantastic performance. Hats off to all the boys today. I really, really enjoyed that first half. I can't stress how much I enjoyed that first half. The second half was just workmanlike, defend, control the game, manage the game. So happy for Gabriel Jesus as well to come back. And he should have scored as well with that a little layoff by Vieira. Um, but look, it is what it is. We're looking strong now. We got our we got our players back. Our starting eleven is looking good today. For the first time, I looked at our bench and thought, you know what, our bench is looking strong. Vieira, Jesus, Nelson, Jorginho. You know, we got players there, man, that can come on and make a difference, and that's all I've wanted. We got 10, 11 games remaining, and um, you know, we keep it moving, we keep pushing, and hopefully, we can get over the line. If we win next week, we go eight points clear before Man City kick a ball. And I think that will apply some pressure on them if we win against Palace at home, which I'm fully expecting we will. All in all, great day for the Arsenal. Big up Arteta, big up the players and big up you fans who were amazing today. Take care.